listen up. It's the number one voice of the tri-state. I'm number one. It, it, it's it's clicking up 215. So let the show begin. Y'all already know who it is, your boy Smooth, and this is Cooking Up 215, where we get you up close and personal with your favorite artists, entrepreneurs, shakers, and move makers. And we here today with a ruthless allow. Here we go. <laughs> How you doing? I'm great. I'm glad I'm to amazing. hear you here on Cooking Up. As y'all can see, we doing something a little different once again. You know, she she didn't want to bring the, the, the frozen milk. She said she wanted to put it to together for us in person. Yeah. So here we are right now. She about to get this all set up. So what you cooking for us today? I'm cooking with some stores. Salisbury steak and mashed potatoes. Okay, so steak and mashed potatoes with gravy. So right now we got the ground beef in there. We got the ground beef. We got the seasoning mix. Mm -hmm. I'm going to finish adding to the seasoning mix, pour it over the ground beef, mix it together, form it in patties, pop it in the oven. Okay, cool. Well, well, you go ahead and you start doing your thing, and okay. we just gonna talk and work at the same time. I ain't putting okay. my hands in no meat. No, oh, oh, no okay. And all well, that. You don't want. You need gloves. You gotta help. Yeah, I, I, I ain't trying to squish no meat. I'm, you know what I mean? I'm just watch. Let you do all. Okay. The, How about you the do the pouring? Stuff. The pouring. I, I could pour a few things. Right. You know what I'm saying? So all right. Like pour. drinks. Some no. Milk. Some milk. Right, pour pour the milk you. in the seasoning mix. I tell you when to stop. Okay. Tell me. Tell me when to stop. Go ahead. So. You actually converted to Islam in your 20s? Right? Yes. Okay. All right, so, you, so you wasn't born uh, Muslim at all? No, I wasn't okay. born Muslim. Um, yeah, I actually converted like once, once I found out my mom was dying. Mm. So, um, yeah, I kind of like, you know, I was lost at the time. I needed answers. Okay. You know, so. So what you like, you just took to the Quran or did you go through reading no, a bunch of different. A, a friend of mine. Books or something I need like you to that? A friend of mine, um, you know, he realized like I was, I was looking for something. So he was Muslim at the time. Mm -hmm. And he was like, here, take this book, read this book. Um, it might help you. What was the book? Um, you had to ask that. Mm. The book was called, oh. Something about science versus Islam, or something like that. Mm -hmm. And it was, it had like a, a lot of correlations between like, you know, the Dead Sea and, you know, how we're born and just different scientific facts mm -hmm. that, um, and it kind of based the scientific fact and then kind of versed it to the Islam. Quran. Okay. But um, yeah, it was it was deep. Like immediately from that from that book alone, I was like, this it is. It had you hooked. This is the truth. Okay. Yeah. So you so you so you made the change, and in making that change, you were looking for halal meals, and you kind of that's, that that's how you came up with all of this. No, I was Muslim. I was wait. My mom passed. I had kids. Mm -hmm. And um. I'm sorry to hear about your mom as well. Oh, it's okay. She wasn't Muslim. I'm not sure. Well. Um, so after I had kids, you know, I was struggling. I was, I was facing a real tough time and I was like, you know, I just need some type of help. Like I need some halal meals in, in my kitchen, in my fridge right? and, or something quick, something that I can, you know, buy at the grocery store, my food stamps. Mm -hmm. Cause like I said, I was struggling right? and they didn't have anything like that, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, and I only ate halal. Okay. So um, I was like, I'm gonna make it. Like I'm, I'm tired of like struggling, you know, with daily chores, mm -hmm. not, not being able to like have something quick to eat. Still gotta wash dishes. Still gotta fold the clothes. Still, you know, gotta do all these different things. And I need something, something to give me a break. So, right. You know, I mean, in due time, some years pass, and matter of fact, COVID happened, and I was like, this is the time to do it. You know, it's quick. It's easy. I know I'm not the only parent that needs some type of um, right. break. So, and it's good, you know. All these other frozen meals, you know, from these major corporations, major companies aren't good. And they, they're, they're trash. Like, literally, they're like grade F, mm. you know. And it's overly processed, so. Yeah, everything these days is... is, is it's crazy trying to eat healthy. Like I, I've been telling myself, I'm ready to just go like straight raw fruits and veggies. Cause oh, it's just, straight vegan. Yeah, it's it's not even about being vegan though. It's just really more so. It's just about being organic. I'm just tired of everything having so much 
be asking Junk. it. Yeah, yeah. It just ain't nothing is good for you. Like somebody said something to me earlier about like vaping. They're like, yeah, they say it ain't good for you. I'm like, nothing Nothing's good, good for, for you. you right now. It's like, <laughs> it's hard. Like, unless you grow that shit yourself out back, it's, right. it most likely they got something in it that ain't good for you. So right. it's like. This, but this is yeah, good for it's you. a killer. This is, this is good for you. I see it. I'm watching. You, you, you know, need this. I'm all up in. I can't wait to see it. Er, er, everybody like. needs this. Mm. Everybody needs an AHK mill. Mm, mm, mm. That's my slogan. So it's AHK? Aruba Talao Kitchen. Okay, yeah. So I thought it was Ak. Is it not Ak? Like, you know, like Ak, like Ak? No. Ak is Ak. really, like, Ak is really, like, if you want to write the transliteration of it, it's really A-K-H. Okay. Because it's Akhi. Okay. So you don't say it like Ak? No. All right. You, sh you shouldn't. People will, people will try to say people it like People say that. it to you? Yeah. Because it's like I seen you did like um, AHK to the to world. world. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I was like, Ock to the Oct world. Ock to the like, world. That's how I thought it was. Yeah, no, like if you want to write it. just makes sense because you're It Muslim. do because I'm Muslim, right? Yeah. It do. I mean, I let it, I let it go. But okay. that's it's politically incorrect. Okay, got you, got you. Yeah. But some people going to take it. Some some people won't take, take it. it. I, I, let it, I let it ride. Let it slide. I let it ride. Okay. So before this though, you wanted to actually be in like fashion apparel and stuff How like that. How you know that? that? I told you we, we do our How research. How you know that? You know where where you find that information you know from? We got our PR fame. She, oh my God. She does, she does her thing. And, that was you know, so long ago. That was long ago? Yes. So that was like your early age, you wanted to get into fashion and everything yeah, like that? Yeah, I went to school for um, fashion merchandising. I was doing like a lot of like, um, uh, like low budget, like movie mm -hmm. sets. Um, yeah, like doing costume designing, but um, um yeah, you was doing costume yeah. designing and whatever. Yeah, for movies. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. I really wanted to get into costume designing, and I loved it. You know. So what made you step away from it? Like, mm. what made you decide, um, like, you know, like, all right, this not for me. Mm, I, I, you know, I would love to still do it. It just wasn't taken off. Mm -hmm. You know, and then as I got older. Started having kids, life started happening. Okay. And um, I was, I, and I also can cook. I'm, I'm just a very, a very creative person. Okay. You know, so. Yeah, you got skills. You can do a little bit of everything. So. I feel that. I feel that. So, All right, so. I know you use, like, you know, during COVID, we all, you know, got our little funds and all that type of stuff. So that was, like, part of what helped you oh, fund, fund your business and everything like that. What made you, like, decide that? Instead of like investing in fashion and invest into the mills, like that was the opportunity. You know, that was the opportunity everybody had. Like, okay, I could truly trace my dream. I got right. a nice little bag. You know what I mean? Right. And what made you decide and say that this is the way it was going to go? Because this took off. So this it was already popping. Like once you started cooking them. Well, yeah. So, right. So I started selling platters. Uh, okay, all right, got yeah. you. I started selling platters, and um, they, I was selling out. Like, people would come. I was selling platters at my girlfriend's crib. Okay. So, um, people would hit me up on Instagram. You know, I post a picture on Instagram. I'm Jamaican, too, so I would make, like, oxtail, curry salmon, mm. curry chicken. And so... Um, All halal? Yeah, 100%. Mm. Okay. And, um, and people would just, like, hit me up. You know, like I'm coming, where you at? I'm gonna mm. get a platter and I would sell out. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna transition from the platters to the frozen meals. Cause again, I already had that idea years before. The frozen meals. The frozen meals. Mm. Yeah. Cause I knew I could cook, you know, I'm be it mashallah. I was blessed with a good hand. Mm -hmm. So, um, and how not being you, boastful. But how did you know? Cause you know, it's one thing to cook fresh. Mm -hmm. It's another to like, prepare meal prep and put frozen meals together. Right. Like, where did you get that thought from to even go that route with it? A lot of people wouldn't even think to go there with it. Everybody else open restaurants mm -hmm. and just sell the food, you know, or a food truck. Right. Like, what what, what made you go down this path versus those angles? Like I said, I just wanted to pay for something with my food stamps. Uh -huh. Like so you just so, so it was just about creating a convenience that you wanted for yourself. So, like you saw yeah. it as a problem. I saw it as a was, need. You yeah. You solved that problem. Exactly. Okay. Gotcha. I saw it as a need. You know, there's a lot of food. There's a lot of halal food in Philly that you can purchase with cash, right? Because it's hot. 
it's hot food. But mm-hmm. when you want food stamps, mm. you can only purchase things that that's are cold. Smart. Yeah, that's smart. So I was like, I'm going to make a frozen meal that's cold, you know, that, yeah. that you can buy because it's cold off your food stamps. I don't know nobody else. Like, no, I don't, I don't even know, like, of a local person, period, black, white, that created frozen meals, like, yeah, period. No. Like, I, like, you know, all I know is Hungry Man. Right, exactly. The, the other people who do, Swanson, like, the, Yeah, you know Marie what I mean? Marie Callender. Yeah. All of them. That's all, all I know of. Yeah. I've never, never. Yeah. And we assume, like, only, like, big companies could do these type of things. Exactly. Like, you got to have a factory. Exactly. And shit like that. Exactly. So how did you do it? How did how did you get it? You got it popping out the kitchen? Did you have to find a, a factory or something like that? Um, I'm well. I'm currently doing it out of a commercial kitchen. Mm-hmm. But I need a factory, like okay. ASAP. Like that's that's the next step. Mass production. So yeah, mass production because you know there's there's major retailers, grocery stores that's knocking at my door, and I'm like I can't. I'm really? sorry, I can't produce that much right now, but give me a minute. So okay, you have a high them. demand right now. You don't even have enough mills on deck to even supply them. I don't even got enough hands. That's a good problem to have. I guess it is. Yeah. But that's, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Oh, man, that's crazy. Yep. That's super wild. Yep. So what's your next step? Like, how do you, how do you even go about finding factories and stuff like that because you look into that cold calling researching mm. um you know people reach out too so there's like some investors reaching out like you know how can i how can i get involved how can we invest um and right off the back i'm like you can invest but how can you also help you know like do you know are you in the food industry do you know mm-hmm. um any cool manufacturers do you know any um distribution you know companies so, right so um yeah there's there's some people that's on my line and i'm you know i'm more so like i need help in the bread mm. see what i'm saying right right yeah it's like in my crate the crate it's just never been seen and I'm, i don't even understand I like even like you like all right i want to make frozen meals Hello, Akbar. And, i'm telling you like i don't even know how to like the idea just it like, did you, you, you do some YouTubing and research? Like, all right, how do I go about making frozen meals? And no. <laughs> just, no, just, just, was, <laughs> just start you know, doing cause it. You know, because it was, it was a lot. I mean, you know, when you're struggling, you think about a lot. You, you, that's like the prime time for ingenuity. Mm, you're just going to figure it out. We're going we're gonna to make it happen. Right, we're like, don't, you know, you got brothers in jail who make something out of nothing, make, you know, they don't have nothing, but they need, they know that they need something. So they figure it out based on the resources that they have and what right. they have access to. And that's really how it just happened. I was like, yo, like, I'm struggling, but I need this meal. Mm. I know I can cook. I got a hand. I'm going to do it. So at what point did it get into the market? Like, you know, when did that come about? Um, so, um... I found out through, um, matter of fact, I was on Saul page, mm. um, and she had like a live one day, mm. and she had Jeff Brown on there, and they was talking about the incubator program, and I was like, okay, let me figure out, let me find out what the incubator program is. So the incubator program is basically like if you have an idea, if you have a product mm-hmm. um, that you want to take it to the next level, you know, sign up, somebody will reach out to you. Um, and then you kind of take it from there. So I signed up and I mean, the wait list was like dumb long. Like I'm talking about like right. months long. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna sign up, but I don't think nobody really gonna reach out to me. So I signed up and I think like six months later, I got an email saying, um, you know, we want you to, we want to invite you to the to the panel, the incubator panel. Mm-hmm. So I went, you know, went to ShopRite, um, I didn't meet Jeff, I met Sandy, Sandy Brown, and like other people, you know, like the president of ShopRite, um, of Brown ShopRite. And um, they tried, they saw the product, they saw what I was doing, they heard my pitch. They was like, we love it, we want this in stores now. Mm. So I couldn't get it to them then because it, it was like the prototype product. It was right. just, it was no packaging, it was just like the tray with yeah. like film over it and like a sticker. 
<laughs> on top and yeah. you know it had no like nutritional facts to it or, or nothing the hood version the hood version right. like kitchen sink type mm. so um i was like all right they was like you know you got to get this this and that you got to get the packing together do all these things for it to be like retail ready right so that that happened like i you know it took it took me like 12 months 11 months really to just get just to prep it all the way ready for storage yeah yeah, yeah. it was a lot i'm doing it on my own and from the muscle like with no funds like right. bootstrap and everything mm. like i had to pay for packaging i had to pay for designing i had to pay for you know um i did my own nutritional facts but like you know these things take time especially you don't yeah. got the money yeah. you know no 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 funding Right, you don't got the proper resources like these exact, big companies exactly. got. Exactly, yeah. you know, you can't. I can't walk into the bank and be like, you know, I don't have no money, I, but give me a loan. Right, you know, I don't work like that. So, as the money was coming, I was putting all that money into making my product or preparing my product to be retail ready. Mm. So, I mean, it took it took eleven months, like eleven, twelve months. So after I finished, I got the product together, got it ready. Um. And shout out to Uncle Dave. I don't know if y'all know Uncle Dave. Uncle Dave's homemade ice cream. He helped me a lot along the way um, to get that product together. But um, once it was done, once I got the, the design and the packaging shipped to my house and everything, I went back to the incubator program and it was like, this is, this is it. This is it. That's dope. Yeah. This All is right. It. So where are we at with this right okay, now? He's so ready to go into the oven? He's ready to go into the oven. Mm -hmm. I'm a little nervous because I don't have I didn't have all of my ingredients. Okay. But we in understand. Shouting law, we they, gonna make it work. We I gotta make smell it. We <laughs> it, it, it smell, smell, it right. smell up yeah. the bar. It smell about right. Yeah, you can tell a lot about the smell. All right, yeah. so so we gonna pop this in the oven, and then we are gonna get right back to y'all about it. And we are gonna start you know messing with the mashed potatoes, doing some more prepping, and we are gonna have a meal for y'all. So y'all already know who it is. Your boy Smooth. It's Aruba. It's cooking up 25. We'll be right back. Let's go. It's our favorite part of the show. That's your favorite. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, chef. What you got cooking? You already know. <laughs> Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy Smooth, and we right back at it. This is not Miss Aruba, if you was watching. This is her partner, the COO of Aruba's Halal Kitchen, Miss Danielta. Hey y'all. Yeah, thank you for coming. You thank know what I'm saying? You. We Thanks appreciate you sliding us. through. Mm -hmm. So when did you, you know, become a part of Aruba's Halal Kitchen? Well, I met my good sis in twenty twenty. Okay. And when I met her, she was like I would always go over to her house and she would cook. Mm -hmm. And I just loved her food, so I would always stay. And then she would be like, I'm making an order for this is when she was making hot platters. Okay. Right. She was like, I'm making um, a catering order for this. And I'm like, all right, well, let me just stay with you. I'll help you. Mm -hmm. And I could eat, too, because I food's really good. <laughs> so I was like, I'll help you. And right. just kept on going, kept on going. Like, as she was doing, I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm just always, I'm just around. Like, this right, right, like, right. You're just hanging out. Exactly. Chilling, yeah. So you might as well. I'm not going to just see my friend doing it, and I'm just, like, sitting on the couch. Right. Right? So. While she's sleeping over the stove. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. So I would just keep helping her, keep helping her. And then, um. When she came, so she's like, you know, so, you know, I'm thinking about making frozen meals. Like, I was like, I think that's a great idea. She's like, don't tell anybody. I was like, <laughs> secrets, it's bond. But right. like, I just, I saw her vision, right? And right. I knew that it was something that was needed. Mm -hmm. And I always say, I would go to Jenna with her. Like, I'm riding to her till Jenna. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so how long were, were you a uh, Muslim? Like, were you born Muslim? Or? No, I wasn't born Muslim. I became Muslim, what was it, 2018, 2019? That's before or after you, Aruba? That was after. After you? Twenty. Okay. Was she a part of your process? When, like, in your no, decision we didn't even to know each other. Someone? For real? Right. It feels Dang. like we've been knowing each other our whole lives, but it's real recent. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. So y'all ain't had nothing to do. Both y'all made mid-life transitions into Islam. And then start hanging out, came sisters, and you, and you seen her vision, and you yeah. you actually joined the whole the whole thing. Right. Yes. So, what's your role in Aruba Salon Kitchen? So, I'm the COO. I'm the head of operations. Okay. Um. So, number one, just making sure like I'm backing her up, like whatever she needs. If there's something her place too full, she wants to look up something. I'm looking up this, or like how can I make her job easier as much as possible? That's dope. Mm -hmm. That's hard too, man. Philly is. 
it's hard to find a good team. Like, I got a good team, but it's like you can't always find people that believe in something, especially when they not the one who thinking it up, like mm -hmm. the one who not in control of it or who see it, you know what I'm saying, who's blessed with the vision to yeah. say. It's different. Like, it's, it's, it's hard. I so, feel like, I don't friend. know. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. For real, for real. It's, it's a blessing, man. People it don't is. know how hard it is. So it's like when you find the people, like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You got to I feel like that. people feel like I, they always have to lead. They always have to lead. But good leaders also know how to follow. Especially yes. if you know, if you know you also have somebody else that's a good leader, follow and learn from them, right? right? Like, like that's my best friend. That's my old head. Like, you know, she's always put me on game. That's and, I'm, and I'm going to follow it. Right, right. So, yeah. So you ride into the woods for a long. Period. So let me know like a little bit about you. Where are you from? Um, I was, I'm from Liberia, but I was born, I was raised in Jacksonville, Florida. For real? Duval County. Duval! <laughs> How long did you live in uh, Liberia? Like what um, age did I you come over? I was born there. I came here when I was three. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's still dope. Yeah, it was My really grandpa dope. from Ghana. I'm really? supposed to go over. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's super dope. That's I really always close. say, man, I'm going back to the motherland for you should. America on some shit. They, <laughs> that's for real. I'm trying to get about this show. All right, so let's Trying to get my bag right. I don't know <laughs> shit. It's going to be cooking up Africa in a second. Like, real right. You know what I mean? I'm jumping As on the you boat. <laughs> Got me fucked up. I'm trying to slide. You know what I mean? No, literally. It's beautiful. I know. It it's is beautiful. gorgeous. You know what I'm saying? They don't show inside all the time. Mm -hmm. But it's definitely dope. So, do you know how to cook? I do know how to cook. Yes, you do. I know how to cook more so Liberian dishes. So I, I learned a lot of my them. yeah. I learned a lot of my American dishes from her. That's hard. Mm -hmm. Y'all never thought about like combining some of your you know your Liberian cuisine with the halal dishes and boom, then you got like a Liberian. Uh, uh. You know, yeah, when yeah. We, so, when yeah. we sell platters, yeah, when we sell platters, you mix it up. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. A frozen joint would be hard though, cause I've never seen no like African food ready to go. <laughs> never. You always gotta go to like you know Will and Ed get, get you a fresh yeah. drink. Yeah. Who knows what's in store? That's hard. Y'all should definitely think about that. Make sure y'all have my ten percent in the contract. <laughs> That's all. You know what I'm saying my finder's fee, my idea fee. Yeah. So um, you got into this like mm -hmm. 2020. You said. Um, no, I met her in 2020. Oh, you met her in 2020, and but when she started, you was there around while she was cooking and everything. Yes, like and then, like, as it was starting, like, really honed down, mm -hmm. like, and she sat me down, she was like, Delta, mm -hmm. you know, it's just getting serious, like, what, what you want to do? Like, I love you, I love your support, mm -hmm. and what you want to do? And you, like, like, I want a serious position. Yeah, she, she offered, she offered it, to it to me. Yeah, yeah. she offered it to me. But you took it? Yes. You of course, like. So, is this something you see like a long term? Are you down for the the long ride of the vision? Definitely, because like, number one, like this is something that as Muslims we don't have, like, mm -hmm. right? So, just that in itself is monumental. Mm -hmm. And why would you not want to support it, right? Number one, that's my sis. Mm -hmm. And if I really want to see my sister win, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see my sister win, right? right. Number two, look at it. Yeah, these yeah, dudes like, look amazing. I exactly. can't, I can't, I know we, we almost, we almost done. How we, how we looking over there? We, oh, yeah, I see yeah. plates. Ooh. I see plates. Look. Are we waiting on is the gravy? Yeah. Mmm. Yeah, it looks good. We tastes better. Yeah, you know? Look yeah. good. Tastes better? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that presentation. You know what I'm saying? You see that? AHK to the world. Yeah. This is not your average TV dinner. It's saying Nothing it, like it, this it's, it's straight world. fresh, freshly made, fresh cooked. What? That's crazy. Mm -hmm. So, so y'all cook it fresh, yes. and then throw it in the containers and the boxes and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's so hard. We're bootstrapping. Yeah, because I, I feel like I haven't had like a a TV dinner type meal mm -hmm. since like back in the day. They used to have the little kids drums. They was blue, come with like a brownie and applesauce. You ever had those before? Yeah. They used to be my shit. <laughs> They, I try to stay away from they, them. They right taste now. so processed, though. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, it, even I'm, I'm not even like a microwave dude right now. Like, I'm straight like convection oven. Listen, you can pop this in convection box. oven too. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I don't want to kill the nutrients. So you know what I mean. I might I air fry like that joint a little bit. <laughs> you can't air fry. Can't put it. In. <laughs> <laughs> can't put that it in air fry. you can't do. Not that meal okay. anyway. Oh, I see y'all got this. Mm -hmm. This got everything yeah, on it there got too. Yeah, got the instructions. It's legit. All the ingredients. Official. So, what about this process was the hardest for y'all? I feel like 
I kind of feel like we're now in the hardest part, where it's like just keeping keep, up with the man. Yeah, the man's high. Like you know, it's the streets needed. <laughs> yeah, right? like the they call needed. it. The streets is calling. Like, and we yeah. just trying to pick up Eric Call for real. Like, yeah. Yeah. And she was telling me like she she she's trying to get into like a a bigger um production warehouse type vibe yes. so that y'all can actually yes, get a provide for all the markets that's exactly. calling. Exactly. Right like get a co manufacturer, co co packaging, like mm -hmm. that's really the move. And that's the hardest part because where are y'all? <laughs> where are y'all? Like, that's crazy. So I mean I guess that's a good problem to have. So so it wasn't yeah, like definitely. hard to get up to this point. Like it wasn't a real Difficulties like did y'all ever get to a point where you felt like calling it quits? Like, um, like man, calling it quits, real. yeah. Mm, no, it, it, it's hard, yeah. You have your ups and downs, but I feel like to be like, no, you know what, wrap it up, yeah. No, so did you attend the um, women's tech talk with her? Yes, recently, mm -hmm. black women's talk tech. How was that? Yeah, black women's talk it was, tech. it was great, it was like. Meeting all those investors and just pitching the product to them and just really see how their eyes light up because all they see is money. Mm -hmm. Like it kind of, yeah, like this is a billion dollar product. Right. Right. Like we just need to get it in front of the right people and we just need to do the right things and like, it's like, yeah. But honestly, that's something I knew when she first told me. Mm. So it's like. Was it awkward being black Muslim women at this thing? Like, or was it a lot of Muslims there? Um, we found, it was one Muslim sister. Mm -hmm. um, it's, I wouldn't say awkward, mm -hmm. but it's all, we're, we're mainly always the minority in the spaces that we Okay, yeah. Yeah, like black Muslim women, like it's just. Yeah, cause it's, I, it's not threat. too many, there's, I mean, you have a lot of halal businesses, mm -hmm. like, you know, especially if you, from our area, right. you know, we live we in West Philly, so you go to Cousins, you're gonna find mm -hmm. a million, a lot of different things and things of this sort, but this is in like ShopRite, you know, yeah. it's in the local market. This is the first like American style halal frozen TV. Dinner. Right, yeah. So. So it's it's different. I feel like it's, yes. a, it's a whole different approach and to be ran by two ladies is monumental. You know what I'm saying? I don't think there's too many female Muslims you know, running business out here or like at the forefront of business, really putting their face out there at the same time. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Yeah. I like to see it. I like to see it. I'm I'm glad y'all doing it. I look forward to see, you know, what y'all got next. Is is there yes. a, another mill lined up behind this mill? Definitely. Okay. Do I get to know what that mill is or not no, yet? No, not yet anyway. Okay. Yeah. All right. So y'all gonna do this thing and take it all the way out there and then yeah. introduce some variety. Right, like when we say AHK to the world, like it's really to the world. To like the this world. is, this ain't stopping anytime soon, inshallah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's inshallah. hard, that's hard. All right, how we looking, Aruba? We're almost done. We're almost done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That gravy look delicious. Yeah, it def definitely look good. I can't, I can't wait to taste it. The mashed potatoes look great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I am. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to offset it a little bit because I ain't put enough salt in the in the Salisbury steak to offset the I'm, I'm, I'm almost certain it's probably going to be perfect. I look forward to tasting it. So I know y'all just came from a tasting too. Y'all did like the tastings at ShopRite? Yes, I, I didn't just come from there, but yes, we did have you a tasting you today. Y'all did multiple tastings though. Didn't y'all do tastings prior yeah. or before that other time? We do tastings twice a week. Okay. Mm-hmm. What's the reaction that y'all normally get? People love it. They're People like, love it. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> oh, this is so flavorful. <laughs> it's frozen? And it's like, yeah, you just warm it up. Like oh, it tastes this homemade. Is, right, it tastes homemade. Yeah. Like, especially when the kids eat it, like, oh, this joint popping. Like, this tastes like my mom make it. This tastes like my grandma make it. And it's like, yeah. Mm. It's some seasoning in there. Right. You know, the mother right. joints don't put, you gotta put some uh, <laughs> You gotta wrap it up yourself. You like. gotta do a second hand on that mm -hmm. thing. Like, they just prepare the main dish. You gotta come in there, join with cheese. You gotta come with your seasoning. You gotta come yeah. with your pepper, your salt. You, know, all right. you gotta crazy. doctor it all the way up. You know what I mean? Yeah. By the time I'm done with a meal, it's a whole I'm, different I'm meal. Right. It's a whole new thing. I didn't turn this to a concoction. For real. All right. You ready for it, Chef? I'm about to put. Some gravy on in there. All right, give us a second, y'all. We about to get these plates popping. Two seconds. Uh, uh, uh. What were you doing prior to this? 
Um, I like was I a know consultant. She was into fashion, so what were you into? Well, I, I just graduated college not that long ago. Yeah? Yeah. What did like, you um, major in? African American Studies and Education and Public Policy. Okay, that's mm -hmm. dope. What's your aspirations in that? Um, my aspirations was to enter the education field. Like you wanted to be a teacher? No. I wanted to deal with ed education Come policy. Come for me. I'm sorry. Just mm -hmm. I wanted to deal with education policy and like how how the school system and the way it's ran affects black kids. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. It is crazy. It's set up exactly how they want it to work. It is. Now, mm -hmm. That's the thing. Now, you got into it for that, but do you think that they would allow change in that space like that? No. And that's kind of the reason why I didn't like run full speed into right, it right exactly because it's like the higher up you go you realize the people who are making the most decisions are the one with the most money and not not more so the one with the education or exactly the thought, like, or, or the, the ones who care about the students right. right like the ones who make the decisions don't really care about the students right it's the ones who have the most money yeah yeah and all the policies show that so mm. That's crazy. Yeah, that's a, that's a hard job. It's dope, though, that you went into that. Maybe, yeah, you know. it, it was very eye-opening. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's all right. Y'all ready for this? All right. You know, I need y'all keep looking back here. <laughs> yeah, we, you know, we hungry now, you know what I mean? Stomach growling. Once I see food, you know what yeah, I mean? I, I need pretty. food now. You know, when Where's, you see it, your stomach start growling. Where the parsley at? They look beautiful already. No, oh, they got to get parsley. Oh, she told me. Aruba, how we looking? You ready for me? We ready. We ready? Ooh. It's time. It's time. All right, let's move this out of the way so they can see the real thing now. It is looking good. It's just looking delicious. So. It sure is. You got us on first. We, we get to what dive in live on camera. Yep. All right. Let's, let's go. Mm. That's good. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And she did this right here. What? That's crazy. And that's the same thing y'all package up. Mm -hmm. So. Imagine just whenever you want this, just open your freezer and get it. Mm. That's what. Definitely way better than them other drums. The yellow box drum. I don't want to say their name. They might try to assume. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And the red boxes too. <laughs> <laughs> All of them. Yeah, right. they're good. It's what? Mm. I can just keep eating. They know how I get, I get caught up with the food. <laughs> That's it though. How you stop yourself from eating all your food all the time? You get tired of it. <laughs> As the chef, the chef always don't want to eat. Like the chef always tired of their own food. Mm -hmm. That's good though. And I like how you got like a different take on meatloaf. When mm -hmm. I think meatloaf, I think like the whole big loaf of mm -hmm. What made you go patty wise for it? Cost wise. Mm. It's cheaper to do it that way. Mm. I think it worked out well. Mm -hmm. Is it like it even get the meat, like the meat still got a nice little meatiness in the middle, but it ain't too much meat. It got like a little crust on the edge and the outside. Mm -hmm. This yep. thing lit. This thing good. That making me look crazy. Look, I'm up. I'm down there done. <laughs> now I gotta slow down. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pause it, cause I'm gonna have me looking. No, mm -hmm. <laughs> no go ahead, out. dude. Do your thing. It's good. Mm -mm. You don't have me looking all crazy. No. Now I gotta go to the gym tomorrow. Oh, you listen, me too. So when it comes yeah. down to these meals, like, are these like high in calories or anything like that? Like, is this something like if you was on a diet, you could still get busy with these? Yes. Reason being, and because it's not processed. Mm. And so it's low in sodium. It's a lot lower than other than, things, right? Mm -hmm. if, if they told you, you know, because you know when you get in bed with those bigger companies, they the ones that kind of steer you down those paths when it comes mm -hmm. down to processing and all like that. Mm -hmm. Would you ever go that route? Or in order to be halal, do you have to stay away from those things? I have to stay away from those things. Just okay. because, just, just based off of integrity. Like, mm -hmm. 
you know, if if they said, listen, this is the only way you're going to make it to this level, but you got to add some non-halal meat, I said, well, I'm going to stay in this level. Cause Period. Mm. I would never. That's dope. You ain't selling out for the bag. I ain't selling out. That's no, because it's bigger than that. So let's say, what's your 10-year plan? Mm. 10 years, where do you see? 10 years? A Ruby's Halal Kitchen. 1,600 stores. Mm. Well, why? That's dope. Yeah. I, I actually, I think I may meet, meet that inshallah before right. 10 years, but. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm, I look forward to it, man. So, I need y'all to tell everybody how to follow you, where they can find these meals at, everything like that. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's your camera right there. Um. And follow us on Instagram, Aruba Talal Kitchen, at Aruba Talal Kitchen. Mm -hmm. Website, um, ahalalkitchen.com. And we're in 16 locations right now. Yep. 12 fresh grocer slash shop right locations. All your brown shop rights. Yes, all of the browns. Mm -hmm. um, Cousins on 5th Street, and then Three Sunshines. The one on Lancaster, the one on Long Lane, and the one on 60th Street. 60th Street. Mm -hmm. I know the owner had the uh, cousins up here on uh, Baltimore Pike, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Want to talk to him and get, you know, get in Yeah. Him. So does That's um, my homie. Okay. That's my brother. Definitely. So, um, that's dope, man. I appreciate y'all coming through. Thank Blessing you me with this home cooked meal real quick. Thank I'm full. Yes, I'm stuck. I'm I ate mine. I ain't played with it really <laughs> that good. So. Y'all already know, it's your boy Smooth, Rubus Allowed Kitchen, cooking on 25. Get out of here, let's go. <laughs> <laughs>